In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the 1602 LCD keypad shield step by step. First of all, I'll introduce the types of displays and the internal structure of character LCDs. In the second step, I will explain to you how these types of displays work. Then, I take a look at 1602 LCD with keypad shield for Arduino. And finally, we will show you how to program for this module. Hi, I'm Said from Electropeak. If you are struggling with how to use the 1602 LCD keypad shield, this video walks you through exactly what you need to do, so you can print some characters on it. Let's get started. Displaying information in electronic projects is always attractive. First, let's look at some kind of liquid crystal displays. It's divided into two generic types, characters and graphics. Graphic LCDs are screens that have a relatively high image resolution and their size reaches several tens of inches. As its name suggests, it is used for places where we need to display various geometric shapes. Among the most widely used, cost-effective and straightforward LCDs, the character LCD stands out. This type of display is composed of multiple cells, each formed by arranging a collection of pixels. Notably, these pixels are larger in size compared to those found in graphic displays. For instance, a 1602 character LCD boasts 16 columns and 2 rows, allowing it to showcase up to 32 characters. These characters are created within individual cells, which typically consist of 8 to 10 rows and 5 columns of pixels. Character LCDs has controller chip. Here, a HD44780, the black blob on the back receives commands from your microcontroller and turns the pixels on and off to form various letters, numbers, and symbols. To display characters, these displays come equipped with an internal permanence memory known as CG-ROM, storing 208 characters at dimensions of 8 by 5 and an additional 32 characters at 10 by 5. In addition to CG-ROM, there are other volatile memory types referred to as DD-RAM and CG-RAM. DD-RAM registers in which position which character in the ASCII chart will be displayed. Each byte of DD-RAM represents each unique position on the LCD display. The LCD controller reads the information from the DD-RAM and displays it on the LCD screen. Sometimes you want to display some specific characters that may not be available in CG-ROM. To address this, you can create and define new characters to be stored in CG-RAM. This storage space typically accommodates a limited number of characters, often around 8, which can be redefined during ROM time. Okay, now you are familiar with character LCDs. Next step, we introduce to you a functional Arduino shield of character display, a 1602 LCD keypad shield. Now, I show you how to use these kind of LCDs with Arduino boards. The first thing you need to do when using character LCD is to identify the specs and pinout of this shield. As you know, Arduino shields establish physical connections using all their pins, even though many of them only require a subset of these pins to operate effectively. This shield needs pin 4 to 10 and A0 of Arduino. Pins 4 to 7 used for data lines. Pin 8 is for resetting the LCD. You can enable or disable LCD using pin 9. And you can use pin 10 in order to turn on and off the backlight of LCD. So, now you are familiar with the basics of display shield. You can mount it on your Arduino board. Note that this shield is compatible with Arduino Uno, Mega, and other miscellaneous boards that have the same pin arrangement. We are now ready to go to next step. It's programming. 
we will walk you through the functionalities of this shield in two simple steps. Step one involves using the cursor buttons on this shield. You can refer to the provided table of guidance. All five keys are linked to analog pin zero to converse digital pins. So reading them requires the use of ADC or analog to digital converter. When a key is pressed, it produces a voltage on the A0 pins, which is determined by the internal resistive splitting circuit and indicates the specific key pressed. To understand how these buttons operate, first please download the cursor button.ino code provided in the description. Open it, you will see the code like this on your screen. First of all, like any other sketches, we must define the library. It's liquidcrystal.h that we are going to use. Then define the pins that connected to LCD shield. If you are going to use another LCD, you must edit these lines according to wiring. Next, we will define object of liquid crystal. It needs the pin numbers of Arduino that you connected to LCD. In the setup function, we first specify the dimensions of character LCD. We are using 1602 LCD that means it has 16 columns and 2 rows. So we write like it LCD.begin162. Then we print the word electropic on the first line. We use LCD.print function here and the message is written here. Next, we move the cursor to the first house of the second row using this code. And finally, print the word press key there. In the loop function, the A0 pin of Arduino constantly reads the voltage value using analog.read. If one of the keys is pressed, the expression corresponding to the voltage read by this pin is printed on 10th house of the second row of display because we set the cursor position here like this. Now that you understood about how the code works, we will upload it to the Arduino. To do this, please follow these steps. Connect your board to your computer. Select the appropriate board model and the connected port number. Click the upload button to program your microcontroller. After you finished programming your Arduino, you will notice that the phrase press key is displayed on the LCD. As you press each of the keys on the shield, the words up, down, left, right, and select will be displayed accordingly. Moving on to the next step, let's delve into the functions. As outlined in the functional table, these functions empower you to perform a variety of tasks. For instance, you can scroll the screen in two different directions or create a custom character. To explore and experiment with these functionalities, you will find practical examples in the attached files. For example, in order to test a scroll function, you can open the scrolltext.ino file attached in description. As you can see here in code, library and used pins definition part of code is exactly similar to last code I explained. In setup function, we print electropic on LCD. And then in loop, we use a scroll display left function like you see here. It will scroll the text we printed earlier to left by 11 characters, then to right by 27 and to left by 16 characters. You can see the result by upload this code to your board. For the last example, we will create our own characters. For designing a new character, we can use online tools like this website. Switch on and off pixels so that you create your own character. As you can see here, character definition code is generated. You just need to copy this part of code to your program or you can use all of them as a new program. Once you design a new character, open specific character.ino file. Then paste your new character definition code like this here. Here we have some other, like this. Smiley, battery, arrow, mm -hmm, and hard character. Now we can push it to character LCD using create care function. You must assign a number to each character you create. 
Each time you want to display them on the LCD, call them with the assigned numbers using lcd.write function. There you have it. In just a few steps, you could use 16 Auto LCD keypad shield with Arduino. If you don't already have character LCD shield, there is a link in the description to get this module. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching and have fun.